crispy pan fried sea bream marinated with shio koji. As we demonstrated in the previous video, just marinating fish with shio koji or liquid shio koji makes an unbelievably flavorful taste, just like Nobu's famous miso cod. In this video, we use the same method but using a different type of fish, sea bream, and cooking it in a different way, pan frying. Now instead of sea bream, you can use other types of fish for this dish. Our recommendation is fatty types of white fish, like flounder, sea bass, yellowtail, etc. Preparation Use a fillet of sea bream with the skin on. Cut the sea bream into small pieces so that it's easy to eat in one bite with chopsticks. It's really up to you how big or small you want to cut your pieces into. Just make sure not to cut them too small, or it will get very dry very quickly. Scoring the surface. You can also make shallow incisions on the skin. It will help the marinade seep through the skin and into the meat more easily. The textured surface is also quite nice looking as well as professional in appearance. You can score the surface either diagonally or straight. The choice is yours. Marinate. Put the pieces of fish in a cooking plastic bag and weigh the fish. Add shio koji. Remember, when we add shio koji, it's 10% of the weight of the fish. Remove as much air as possible to create a vacuum state so that the marinating process works efficiently. And be sure to get the liquid all over the fish. Leave the fish marinating for at least two hours. If the fish slices are bigger, such as 150 grams per piece, try to marinate it for three to four hours if possible. You can also leave the marinating overnight, all the way up to a few days even, if you wish. This way, you are freed from the pressure of having to cook the fish right after you buy it. And that's it for the preparation. No need for complicated techniques or several condiments or herbs. All you need is shio koji. Let's take a look two hours later. These pieces of sea bream have been marinated in shio koji. First, wipe up the water with a paper towel. If you use a traditional paste type shio koji, not a liquid type, make sure to wipe off the paste very well. Next, coat them in potato starch. You can use normal flour as well. You can also fry the fish without any coating at all. But note that coating with flour or potato starch makes the meat much crispier. After coating, tap off the excess. Now the fish is ready for cooking. Pan fry. Add one tablespoon of oil to the frying pan. Turn the heat on. After the oil gets hot, leave the heat on medium. Put the fish in, skin side down first. This allows the skin to get very crispy. Once the skin has gotten browned and crispy, flip them over. When the other side is also slightly browned and cooked, it's time to cook the sides. By this point, keep in mind the smaller pieces should be taken out of the pan. Here's another pro tip. When all the sides are cooked, fry the skin one last time. This is how to make the skin even crispier. Once it's done, place them on a tray. Now it's time to serve. Plating. When you plate a few pieces of fried fish together, you can make them look much more tantalizing, impressive, and appealing on the plate by laying one piece over another, like this. This way, the presentation gets more of a three-dimensional look, which is more exciting to the eye, rather than simply laying the fish completely flat on a plate. Sliced tomato adds a lively red color to the plate, while rucola green sauce adds a refreshing green color to the plate. Note, the green sauce is not a must as the fish is already seasoned and is tasty without any sauce. However, we do recommend using some type of green garnishing or side from a presentation standpoint. And there you have it. Tasty and crispy pan-fried white fish marinated with shio koji. Now ready to serve.